Hello friends, welcome. In this video, I'm going to create the grad with a live wire. So also we can upload the image. So let's get started first. I'm going to create a fresh Laravel application. So Laravel uh, new and I'm going to name it grad. Okay. Now I'm going to use the Laravel Jetstream package from uh, Laravel and if you go to the documentation inside the packages we have a Jetstream here okay and I'm going to install the Jetstream with Livewire so copy this command go to the terminal okay cd in the grad application and paste that code and hit enter. After that, we need to install a JetStream with a live wire stack. So copy and paste that in. Okay. And also, I want to run the PHP Artisan Vendor Publish and the JetStream views because I want to use the components of this uh, package. Paste that in, hit enter, and uh, we need also to run the npm install and npm run dev. But uh, before that, let's say let's open this with a VS Code and now run the npm install and npm run dev. Okay, uh, in the .pnv file, we have this database CRUD here so let's go and create that open the table plus and create a new database with name CRUD click OK and open that CRUD database uh, now I'm going to use the the create a CRUD for posts so let's open that crowd.test here. And before we run the migration, I'm going to create a post model and a migration and also the live wire component for post because we are going to use live wire. Okay, so wait for the and the label mix. Good. Now let's create the model. So artisan make model and the A is for the is alias for the PHP artisan. Okay. Artisan make model post dash M for migration. And it's going to create the post table. Let's go and open that. So post. Okay. post table and in here I'm going to add a title so that I assign table string and add the title here also the string for the image and uh, one more for the body so text and let's say body okay let's save this and now go and run the migration artisan migrate okay let me make also the live wire so artisan make live wire and i'm going to name it post index not just post because we have the model post so let's say no for now and clear this one okay come here refresh and we are in the crud test application let's go and register i'm going to register as admin and admin gmail.com 
add the password okay now first thing here i'm going to add a link to go to the post and also create the post route so let's go to the web routes first and create a new route here so route i'm going to say get slash posts and here i'm going to add the post index live wire class okay this is the live wire component so let's give it a name and i'm going to say post.index now if you want you can give it a middleware but i'm going to leave it for now and uh, in the if you go to the resources because we installed the test stream we have the profile and also we have this navigation and the layout we have app layout so it, which is uh, this one this layout now let's open this navigation and here we have this x jet nav link is uh, Jetstream component for link. Let's copy this and duplicate. Copy. And here I'm going to add to so change the row to be posts.index and also here to be posts. Okay, let's save this and refresh. We have posts here. Click here and we go to the post. Right now we don't show anything here because uh, if I open the post index blade yeah here we have an empty div and first thing I'm going to add a class with the max width to be 6xl and mx auto okay uh, this is uh, Tileon CSS, by the way. And now in here, what we need? We need, I need a button. And when I click a button, I want to show the model with a form to create or to edit the post. Okay. So first, let's create the button. And we need also the table to display all the posts. So I'm going to add a div with class flex and justify and to go in the end and let's say also margin 2 and padding 2 okay and i'm going to use the x jet button a jet stream component and when we click here wire click i'm going to say show a post model and say here create now we need the model and if you go to the vendor components just stream components uh, we have the dialog model okay and for this dialogs i'm going to use this one we need the title the content and the footer so let's close this one and let's add also here a div with class margin two and sorry, margin two and padding two. And here is going to be the table. And after that, I'm going to add a div. And here I'm going to add the model. So I'm going to say x jet dialog model. Okay, this model dialog model and now this is going to show when we the wire model a model this is going to show based on the property so let's open that post index class and create that property i'm going to say dollar sign a dollar signs first say public and dollar sign showing uh, post model to be 
both okay and that is going to show this in this property so paste that in if this is true it's going to show uh, model if it's false it's going to hide okay now here we need the title the content and the footer so x slot and the name is uh, title and i'm going to say title here let's copy this and duplicate and say here the content is going to be here also content here and one more for the footer so here is going to be the footer and say footer here if i save and come here refresh we have a button now if i click nothing happened but we have that button so when we click here i want to show this and to show this we need to change the property from false to true so let's copy this uh, name go to the post index and create that method okay not the name we co copy from there and say dollar sign this uh, showing post model to be true and if i save refresh again click create and we have now the model okay and here we have the title content and the footer is here now in the title i'm going to say for example uh, create post in the content i want to show the form and in the footer i'm going to add the button the when we click the button to uh, uh, create or update the post so let's search for the or i think if i open the i'm going to open my notes because i have some style in css in here And let's copy the form, copy the link, and paste in here. Okay, we don't need this uh, select, so let's remove that select. And yeah, we need only this one. So let's select all here, copy, and go to the post index blade inside the content. I'm going to paste that in. And in the, in the title, I'm going to say create post. Let's remove this uh, duplicated code. okay now in the footer i need the button and i'm going to use x jet button and when we click here i want to so wire click i want to store a new post and i'm going to say store post okay and say store here now if i save uh, go to the project refresh click create and we have a create post we have a form we have the store method okay let me also create a table here and let me check notes i think maybe i have a table yeah let's copy the link and paste that link here leave this one okay so let's copy this select all copy and 
all about the post index blade. Here is going to be the table. So let's paste that table in and let's save it. Go to the project refresh and we have the table here. But let me check. Okay, so here we have a win with, I mean, with full remove the min and let's say just with full to have the full table also in the medium and yeah okay now i'm going to work with uh, before we display that i'm going to work with create so here we need the title image and body let's go to the form and we have here a wire model for title and we have wire model lazy so if you want you can leave it or body and new image so let's create that title new image and body come here and say public dollar sign title and also public dollar sign new image and uh, for the body okay now let's copy this name store post and come here and i'm going to create that method so function with that name and here we need to store a new post So let's uh, say post create and what we need here we need the title and the title is going to be well, assign this title we need the image we need to upload the image so I'm going to say here dollar sign image and dollar sign this new image and store this new image to the uh, public directory slash posts okay and if you are new with post up with the uh, image uploading i have a video about that in this channel so with this we return the path of the image to this one okay and here now we just say image and also add the body to be dollar sign this body and i think yeah, i have made a mistake So uh, let me fix that body here and also body. Now we created that. After we create the new post, I want to say also import this, the model. Okay. After we create the post, I want to reset all the properties here so this and call the method reset the reset of the field so this is going to be uh, false this title empty new image empty and body empty okay and also if you go to the live wire documentation now let me so you here we have file uploads we need to use the with file uploads uh, trait when we upload an image okay so let's copy this one and uh, let's use that trait use with file uploads let import that okay save it and uh, come here and refresh 
okay, create and say first title, choose the image. And I'm going to choose this one, click open and paste something here, click create. Okay, we need to add the properties in the post. So let's open the post model. I forget to do that. And I'm going to say protected dollar sign fillable. And we need the title. We need the image. And we need the body. Okay, save, close this one. Refresh and try again. So save first title, choose the image, open and type something here, click create. We close that and if I come here and refresh, go to the post, we have a new post and here we have the a post image path here. Okay, good. Now also uh, we can, if we want, we can, when we choose an image, we can uh, uh, preview that image before we upload it. So if you go here to file uploads, we can also, and let me, Copy this validation. So let's add the validation and store. So before we do anything, let's validate the new image. And also, I'm going to validate the title to be required and also the body to be required. Okay, so I want to say you is, if we want, we can, uh, let me check here if we have temporary preview URLs. And yeah, we can show the temporary URL of the image. So let's copy that, go to the post index and in the form when we have the image, I'm going to say if we have a new photo, new image, sorry, new image, let's preview that. And here I'm going to say new image. Okay. So if we select one, a new image here, we are going to display that. And also let me add the errors for all the fields. So for the title, change this to be title. Also, the name is going to be, the error is going to be text red 400. And let's copy this and paste for the new image. Say new image here. A new image like this. And also for the body. and say body here. Let's save this and see now if I come here and refresh, create. If I say create here, we have all the file this required, but we need to run the NPM run watch the watch for the Tailwind CSS classes. And now if I say choose a file, and I'm going to choose this one, click open, and we preview that uh, image here before we upload. If it's nice, okay. Now I want to display the file in here, the post. So let's go to the for to the table, and what we need: the ID, title, and the image. Uh, let's remove this, the status because we don't have status. And here, uh, copy this. Uh, 
and say for each dollar sign post as a post and paste that in now here we have the id so let's say dollar sign post id here we need the other title and let's say dollar sign post title and we have the active but remove this here we are going to display the image so let's remove this one and add the storage facade url and dollar sign post image okay let's save this and refresh and define how oh, yeah we need to add the post here so when we render add also all the posts and i'm going to say post model all okay save it and the refresh and yeah now we have first title here and the image okay let's create one more create a second post choose the image and let's choose this one click open and this one is this let's save something here and yeah we have the second post okay and now let's work with edit and delete in the post index we have this edit and let's say here with that x jet button here and when we click here i want to display the model for editing the post so wire click and say uh, show edit post model okay and say here edit save this and copy the name go to the post index and create that method so i'm going to say or let's say in here function with that name but also here we expect the id so let me add the id in here okay dollar sign post and the id let's save it and now i'm going to say dollar sign post the b with post and say find or fail that id and with that i want to say now dollar sign this title to be the post title okay and this body this body to be also the post body okay and after that let me change the showing post model to be true okay true and let's save it come here and refresh okay x chat button okay forget that double t here save refresh and if i click edit yeah we show the model but uh, we need to change the button here to be update and also when we click we need to update the button the post not to create new post 
with this. And also change the title here. And now if you want to display that image here is easy. So let's work with that. Come here and first I'm going to create new property. So public dollar sign and I'm going to name it old image. Now in the when we show in this also dollar sign this old image is going to be with dollar sign post image okay and one more thing because i want to change the title and the and the uh, button here based if that is in edit mode or not so I'm going to create a property here. Let's say public. I'm going to say is edit mode, and this is going to be false by default. But uh, when you show in that, we are going to change. So dollar sign this is edit mode to be true. Now with that, we can show and hide the button so let's cut this button and say if the is edit mode we are going to say update update and also we are going to call the method update post and else so if not it's not a edit mode i'm going to say create and the same thing for the create post title so let's copy it let's cut this and say if dollar sign is edit mode say update post else let's say what we said create post and if i save and refresh now if i say edit we have update post here and update here but also i want to show you if i click and i click here create we have all the fields with the first post or with second post so what we need to do is come so let's show post model and this is when we click the create here first i'm going to say to make sure that everything is reset and after we change this to true so if i refresh open this yeah click close that and open the create now and yeah we have that one okay now when we edit also i i said you i want to display the image that this post has so for that we created the old image and to do this we can say open this uh, content and let's copy this one and paste here now instead of new image i'm going to say if we have old image and i'm going to say also here old image and here we need to say storage url and dollar sign old image okay save it refresh click edit and we have the old image here and if i say create we don't show that. okay now let's work with edit and uh, let's close this content now when we update we call this update post 
let's copy this come here okay but uh, let me because we need also the id of the post of the data post but i'm just going to say here that assign this post to be with the post and also for the all the fields here so let's select me and say that assign this post and create that property in here so public dollar sign post and now when we so let's say function update post now here we have the post we just we say dollar sign this post and we call the update method and say title to be this title okay the image now we need to check if we have the new image if we have select the image or not and after that we need to say the body to be dollar sign this body okay but me let me also add the validation here let's copy this and uh, before we update let's validate just the title and the body because we don't need also the when we update the image maybe we don't want to update the image so here i'm going to say if and say now if the, we have this new image do the same thing so let's uh, create first the image so that's an image and i'm going to say this image is going to be with this post image and now if we have that if we have a new image i'm going to say dollar sign image a b with this a new image and say store the, to the public directory slash post okay and add the image here dollar sign image let's save that and uh, when we update also i want to close everything and reset everything so dollar sign call this this reset method save from here and the refresh and let's update this to be first title updated click update and the title updated but the image is not changed let's uh, check also for validation and click update we have title is required let's say title and change the image also so change to this one so the previous one is this now it's going to be this one and say update and also we change it so if i come here and we change the image 
Now, if I say create, yeah, we have that thing. Let's work with the delete. So let's go to the post index and in the Yeah, here we have a delete. Let's copy this. Or let's cut this one. And we need to add a div with class flex and space x2. And paste that in and also duplicate this. This is going to be delete. And this is going to say delete post. We add the post ID. If I save and refresh, we have two buttons. But uh, now, if I add a class to be PG red 400 on hover, change to be PG red. Uh, 600 and let's save it refresh and yeah we change that so and otherwise not working but let me when we click here i want to delete that so copy this one come here and create that method so say function Delete post, we expect the ID. And what we are going to do is just say dollar sign post. Or not dollar sign post, just say post and find or fail and add the ID and say delete. And say no, this reset, reset everything. And if I refresh, say delete here, and we delete. Now also we need. To, let me say, dollar sign post to be with this one. And cut this because I want also to delete the. Uh, the image so say storage facade delete and add the post image image and after that say post delete okay save it come here refresh click delete and delete it. Create new post. Say first post. Choose a file. And choose this one. Click open. Okay. And type something here. Create. And it's created. Okay, friends. Uh, that's it for this video. How we can make a grad with Laravel and Livewire. Hope you enjoy. If you like, like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much and see you in the next one.